One of my favorite things to do is fly our drone at home to get a cool perspective of our little cabin in the woods and when we're out adventuring or filming a tiny house. DJI has been a trusted and leading drone brand for many years, but I was surprised to learn that they branched out into the world of power stations. Welcome back to another Tiny Self product review. And we're excited to introduce DJI's new Power 1000. Oh. <laughs> this is a really fascinating small portable power station because while it only has 1,024 watt hours, it has a ultra, ultra high power capacity with a 2,200 watt inverter delivering 2,200 watts of stable output. That's unheard of for a small portable power station. And that seems pretty uncommon for a thousand watt power station. Yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, top competitor power stations of similar size have a much lower power capacity. Mm. For instance, the Jackery Explorer 1000 V2 has about a thousand watt hours with a 1500 watt output. So that is littler. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And with that said, the DJI Power 1000 has some incredible features, but it also has some limitations. So what comes in the box? <laughs> the power station and the AC wall charging cable. <laughs> All right, that's good. But what about if you're gonna do solar or car charging? Well, you're going to have to buy separate accessories or one of the available Power 1000 bundles. So it would be cool if it came with the car charging and the solar charging cables, but if that's something you absolutely don't even need, mm -hmm. you can save a little bit, bit of money by not having to buy them. That's true. Another intriguing aspect of the DJI Power 1000 mm -hmm. is its specialized ports. In fact, it's one of the first power stations to offer a USB-C PD 3.1 port, let alone two of them. Okay, but what does that mean? <laughs> I know that might sound like gobbledygook, uh -huh. and I get it. Yeah, it totally does. <laughs> so USB-C is really common, right? Mm -hmm. Well, USB-C PD or power delivery is a new version that just means super fast charging. Super fast. <laughs> and the 3.1 is just the latest version of that that can deliver much greater wattage. So each of these ports offers an incredible max power output of 140 watts. Dang! <laughs> well, to get the maximum benefit of those ports, you need to use compatible devices or cables. It also has two USB-A ports and two AC ports. And then these two are SDC ports AKA Smart DC. These are versatile proprietary ports that DJI created for two primary purposes. Okay, and what are those? Number one, a super fast way to charge DJI drone batteries faster than any other power station on the market. So you can recharge your drone batteries in only 30 minutes. That's fantastic, but I'm guessing you need some kind of dongle or another cord or something. Indeed you do. And that's another separate accessory. Mm. What's cool about that is we can have the Power 1000 out on location while we're shooting tiny houses and I can run my Mavic drone and charge my camera batteries and be shooting all day long. Yeah, and I don't have to stress about it. No, not at all. Because sometimes we do. <laughs> <laughs> the second function of the SDC ports is to expand the functionality of the power station with their proprietary accessories. For example, if you want to connect the power station to solar panels for recharging, you're going to need to buy the MPPT thing, doodad. Controller. Solar charger. That's right, controller. Solar <laughs> controller. I got this. MPP MPPT solar controller. That's it. But the Power 1000 supports an 800 watt input from solar, which is crazy. That's about 200 watts more than competitors. And that means, you know, this is only a thousand watts. So in like an hour and a half, you can have this thing absolutely fully charged. That's super quick. The Power 1000 also really shines with AC wall charging. You can charge this to 100% in just 70 minutes and 80% in just 50 minutes. 
Another really cool feature about the Power 1000 is how quiet it is. According to DJI, it's only 23 decibels. However, when we tested it with our decibel meter, we only got it down to like 30. Mm -hmm. And 30 is still quieter than a refrigerator running. So that's amazing that this thing can be that quiet. Again, the Power 1000 has an ultra high power capacity with a 2200 watt output. That's a stable output until the battery is completely dead. Its maximum output is 2600 watts, but it can only do that for about 30 seconds. But get this, the peak output is 4400 watts, which is great for handling the surge wattage of some devices. So the DJI Power 1000 can handle high demand appliances like a 1000 watt portable AC unit. But because it has a 1024 watt hour battery, it's only able to run the AC for about an hour. Even though the power station can't run high demand appliances for a really long time, with it having that really high threshold of surge, it protects both the appliance and the power station from possible damage. An orbital sander like this one uses about 250 watts. If you take the total watt hours of the power station divided by the watts, you'll get 4.1 hours, which is how long you can power the sander with the Power 1000. So if I only need to use the sander for an hour, I'm only gonna consume 250 watts from the power station. So that leaves 774 watt hours left to use for whatever I need. Something like my iPhone 15, it only uses about 20 watts and it has a battery, so it doesn't have to be constantly plugged in to use it. Meaning it will only consume a tiny fraction of the overall watt hours of the power station to recharge. Especially when plugged into a super fast charging USB-C PD 3.1 port. So I think all in all, the DJI Power 1000 is sleek, compact, ultra powerful, small power station. Uh, and I think as filmmakers and content creators, it's a great tool for us, especially on shoot days, uh, especially because we use our drone so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, charging on the go, this thing is fantastic. However, the lack of direct solar inputs makes it a little bit more inconvenient to use. I do appreciate that you can add solar with the external MPPT uh, solar controller mm -hmm. and other accessories to best suit your needs, but I'm not crazy about having so many external doodads yeah. to deal with. Mm -hmm. You end up having a whole bag of things that you got to take with you everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of a throwback to the earliest generations of power stations. Yeah, they used to have all kinds of dingles and dongles and things <laughs> that you had to keep in a bag and keep with the power station. So that most of them have figured out how to get everything inside the power station. I think in the long run, DJI could prove to be a top power station contender. I could totally see that. Because for years, they've packed ultra powerful, lightweight batteries into drones. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're already bringing to the table with their DJI Power Series. So the future is definitely very bright for their power stations. We almost forgot to mention, the Power 1000 uses LFP battery chemistry, which is known for its safety and a long lifespan. So this power station is gonna last you at least 10 years, maybe even longer, depending on how you use it. If you're interested in buying the DJI Power 1000 or its mini-me, the DJI Power 500, I think you'll be pleased with the price points. Right now, the 1000 is going for just $699 and the 500 is going for $379. But don't forget to budget for the cost of any accessories you might want, like this cool protective bag that goes for $99. Oh, and remember, there is greater cost savings if you go for one of their bundles. To learn more about the DJI Power 1000, see the link in the description. And please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching our video and for stopping by Tiny House Expedition. I'm Alexis. And I'm Christian. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more tiny home tours and stories, click the videos below. And join us on Instagram for bonus content. 
including face-to-face -face conversations with us. <laughs> we hope to see you there. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.